Are you aligned with the culture? Your alignment with God or with the culture says some very important things about you that we will examine in this lesson. Your alignment says who your master is. The Bible says that no man can serve two masters. Many Christians verbally say Jesus is their Lord, but their actions are far from that. But in actuality, as the saying goes, talk is cheap, but actions speak louder than words. Many so-called Christians are self-deceived, thinking that because they answered an altar call and said some magic words in a prayer, that they are magically going to heaven. But Jesus said, how can you say that you love me, but don't do the things that I command? In actuality, it doesn't matter what you say with your mouth if you've never repented from your heart. The state of your heart is far more important than any potentially hypocritical words you may have said with your mouth. Your alignment determines where your loyalties are. Yes, the alignment of your actions and lifestyle reveals the state of your heart and shows very clearly where your loyalties lie. It's impossible to snuggle up with and be cozy with God's arch enemy while at the same time claiming that you love God. So if you are aligned with the world's culture, if you think like the world, talk like the world, act like the world, if you embrace the same celebrities that sinners embrace, go to the same concerts and shows that they go to, to see people whose lives and actions are diametrically opposed to the kingdom of heaven, then your loyalty is clearly with Satan. It doesn't matter if you go to church on Sunday. The fact is you have aligned yourself with Satan six days out of the week, which completely overwhelms your one or two hours of religious activity on Sundays. No, a true believer gives his or her undying loyalty to King Jesus. A true believer does not get entangled with the things of darkness. A true believer does not worship at the altar of Baal and then try to worship the one true and living God. Your alignment determines if you will fulfill your purpose. Now, it's possible to have truly repented and given your life to Jesus, but yet be caught up, entangled with, and ensnared in the wicked culture or the things of darkness. But if you have truly repented and made Jesus the king and your master, then you are fighting every day to break the control of the flesh over your life. This is essential because your alignment determines whether or not you will be able to fulfill your God-given purpose an assignment here on earth. You see, if you are a true Christian, but fail to break the control of the flesh over your life, you will never be able to hear God, and therefore you will be out of position for what he has for you to do. Now, let me give you an example. Let's say you are driving to a destination and are on the expressway in the fast lane. You've got your secular music blasting and you are having a good old time. So you never notice that your GPS has just told you that your exit is coming up in a half a mile. So you pass your exit and never even realize it. This is the state of many believers. They are so engrossed with the things of the world's culture that they never even hear God's GPS called Holy Spirit when he gives instructions to you because they never hear the instructions they're not in position for what he has for them to do 
Consequently, they wander through life, never having fulfilled their purpose and assignment in the earth. Alignment is a daily process. Spiritual alignment with the kingdom of heaven is not a one-time thing. It requires a daily commitment and sacrifice. Those who have learned how to walk out their salvation have also learned to spend time with God in prayer and in the word every day. To them, it is as essential as eating. How many of you would leave the house to go to work or school without first showering, brushing your teeth, and combing your hair? To most of us, that would be unthinkable. Similarly, it should be unthinkable to start your day without spending time with God in both the word and in prayer. So, beloved, take the assessment of your life. Are you aligned with the culture or are you aligned with the kingdom? Mm -hmm.